In this video I'm going to tell you how to recover your system if it locks. It may lock inside Windows, it may lock during Windows booting or during Windows installation. This happens when you have Turbo Boost unlocked BIOS. And yesterday I have got a question from my subscriber, but this is a very common question and I should have done this video a long time ago. So Windows lock may happen in two cases. First case, if you have Turbo Boost unlocked BIOS, but the Turbo Boost unlocked EFI driver is not installed or it is not loading properly. And the second reason why it may happen if you do undervolting for your CPU and you apply too much undervolting. So you reduce the CPU voltage too much. In this case, the CPU will not be able to operate properly. In case of missing EFI driver, your CPU also does not know how to properly scale up and down its frequency, and that's why when you boot Windows, Windows is trying to ramp up the CPU frequency and it locks, and the same happens with Windows installation. This happens often for people who are using EFI driver installation for Turbo Boost Unlock, which means that you get modified BIOS without CPU microcodes and then you need to install EFI driver on your system level. Thus, if you clear CMOS or you want to reinstall the system, the driver will not be there and your system will be locking instead of booting and functioning properly. The solution for this problem is rather simple. You have to disable power technology in the BIOS. Unfortunately, right now I'm too busy to set up a test bench and make my own screenshots, but I found one online. So the BIOS menu looks like this or similar to this, depending on what motherboard you use. You need to go to Advanced Power Management Configuration, and here, Power Technology, you need to put this instead of Custom, you need to make it disabled. In this case, the CPU frequency will not scale up and down, and the CPU voltage will not jump up and down. The CPU will be functioning at the lowest possible frequency with constant voltage. In this case, EFI Turbo Boost Unlocking Driver is not needed and the system will not lock. So you can boot into Windows with such configuration and then recover your BIOS using Mi 899 application or flash with FPT of a win whichever BIOS you want. The same applies if you need to reinstall Windows and you have a BIOS without FFS driver injected inside. So in this case, you go to the BIOS, disable power technology, install your Windows, and then from Windows you can either fix BIOS to have FFS driver injected, or once you have Windows installed, you can install the EFI driver, and after that go back into the BIOS and enable power technology so that your CPU will be turbo boosting up to the maximum frequency. The same applies if you apply too much undervolting and your system is no longer stable. So what you have to do, you just go to the BIOS, you disable power technology, and then you go to Windows, restore your BIOS with Mi 899 FPT of a win whichever application you prefer, then reboot to the BIOS, restore defaults, save and restart. Here it is important to mention that if you have applied too much undervolting that your CPU is not stable even without power technology, it may happen that your system will lock during the BIOS flush from Windows, and in that case the only possible way to restore the motherboard would be to use CH341A or some other flash programmer. I hope this helps, thanks for watching, bye bye.